So we'll be looking at a lot of different effects uh, today, but uh, in this example, we're going to be really zeroing in on the dynamic effects, the effects that aren't so much um, the kind of special effects that have a particular sound, like a flanger or a chorus, something like that. The, what I would call the more utilitarian effects, in this case, with the picture of the thumb going down like this, it can kind of give you a clue that these are the things, these are the kind of effects that can control your dynamic range. So things we'll be looking at are compressors, also limiters and noise gates. Let's start off with uh, compressors. So in this example, we have a, uh, a signal that the peaks are getting pretty close to the top, but you'll notice the average of all of these guys is fairly low. I would guess that the average of this signal is probably only about a third of the way up the dynamic range. So here's how to turn this kind of recording into a much punchier recording. Now obviously we couldn't just ramp all this up because all those peaks would go in the red and we'd get distortion. So here's how we do it. We look at a compressor and a compressor has basically three knobs on it. Uh, there's, a, there's a few more but these are the three main ones we're looking at. Threshold, then also ratio and then also gain. Now the first one which is our threshold, we can think of it this way. This is the way I always kind of explain it. Imagine you have a limbo bar. Do you know when you put a limbo across the, a door and then if, it, if you pull it down then if you're higher than that then you have to kind of squash down to get underneath that limbo bar. It's kind of the same way in compression. Think about it this way. If you're very, very short, then if the bar is up here, you just go underneath completely, you know, uh, nothing really happens to you. It doesn't matter how high that, that pole is until it starts to come down on a threshold. And that's really what the threshold is here. If we bring that down by turning down the threshold, only the, the stuff above that threshold will get compressed. And it will get compressed by a value of the ratio. So if we, if we say uh, put in a 2 to 1 ratio, that would mean that everything above that threshold would get squashed down by a half. In other words, if we did it 4 to 1, it would be down by a quarter. 4 dBs go, come in, only 1 comes out above that threshold. So that now that you've compressed those peaks down, we can take the gain control and we can bring that up and for a much hotter signal. If I superimpose this over the original uh, signal, you can see that we've got a much punchier recording with the use of the compressor. So that's kind of the background of, of compression. Quite often you use it on, uh, say, microphones uh, for vocals. You can also use it on instruments that have a pretty wide dynamic range. Probably pr the, the primo instrument that has a big dynamic range and quite often goes into the red is a bass guitar. Let's check out how we can use compression to tame a bass guitar. Okay, I want to drop down a bass line into my uh, recorder right here. Have my output of my bass going into the input, which turns up here on my door, which is uh, Propeller Heads Record. You can see that I have the input selected, I have my level set, and everything's pretty good. <laughs> It's about a good level setting right there if I was just playing finger bass, but what if I was slapping bass? Okay, we can see that we are going in the red there and we're going to be distorting our bass. How do we fix that? Well, compression, dynamic compression to the rescue. I have the output of the bass going into this DBX-166 and the output of that guy going into the input. So this effect is inserted between the bass and the input and this has been bypassed the whole time. If I put that into the chain, actually it's got a noise gate as well, I don't know whether you heard that, it just kind of kills the noise between me playing, but now with that compressor there, I can slap and I will not get into the red. <laughs> So you can go from fingering. Dynamic compression is your friend.